aerial artists, it's not exercise, it's an obsession. Jen James swirling on aerial silks, Delijah Franklin defying gravity on the pole, and Oliver Pavic spinning on the lira or hoop. They all say the adrenaline rush and physicality of aerial arts makes a traditional gym workout seem pretty boring. Did my eyes deceive me or at one point, were you holding on like with just one of your legs or something? Yes, it's called the chopsticks. Chopsticks, no hands. <laughs> yeah, no hands, Mom. <laughs> Seriously. These aerialists all have dance backgrounds, but once they went airborne, they never wanted to land. They say it's just a fun, amazing workout for kids and adults. For kids, it's like an extension of gymnastics and trampolines and everything else. And, and then for adults, it's like you get to be a kid again. Wondering if it's appropriate for kids? Check out this 12-year-old world championship pole dancer from Russia. It will probably change the way you think about this dance. Jen's son gave it a try, and so did I. It is hard for me just to hold up this microphone. That's how tired my arm is. Here, here, I got you, I got you. Let, let me help you out, okay? I'm not exaggerating. It was that hard. But that's what everyone says at first. But then afterwards, it's usually like everybody's like sweating at the end of class and like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever done. I'm like, you know what? It's, it's an obsession. Tammy Schlichter loved working out here at Body and Pole in Chelsea so much, she founded the U.S. Aerial Championships. I do it you know, an hour or two a day just because I'm addicted. It's really addicting, it's a huge adrenaline rush, and it's just so much fun. The championships take place this weekend at Baruch College. Check out a beginner class anytime. Stephanie Simon, New York One.